Hi everyone, I'm back to make another recent vinyl video. It's been a long time since I've made one. I just seem to have been so busy and the house is never empty. You know, there's always people around so it's hard to find somewhere to make a video. So I've come up to the radio station because, um, like I say, it's been a while and I have picked up a few records. I've got a pile here, all New Zealand releases, old and new. Uh, I'll run through them pretty quickly and I've got some pretty good stuff in here too. Alright, let's get underway. So, first up, uh, this is Pyjama Club. So, Pyjama Club is a band uh, featuring Neil Finn. Now, you know Neil Finn, He's in, he was in Crowded House, he was in Split Ends, he's done some solo stuff, but Pyjama Club is a band of Neil Finn, his wife, Sharon Finn, there's also SJD, pretty well known musician here in New Zealand, and this is um, a bit different from what you might expect from Neil Finn. It's still got that great songwriting craft that he possesses, but this is more funky, not in a kind of parliament, you know, bootsy, slap that bass kind of funky way. More, maybe, a, I don't know, I detect a touch of the Tom Tom Club in here. It's a good fun record, it's, you know, it's kind of dancey. He recorded it at night with, a, with his wife down in the studio over a few bottles of wine. And it sounds like they're having a good time, and it's a, it's a great record. Uh, that's on 180 grams. There is a gatefold edition of this as well. Uh, this is just the, the standard release. That's nice, new from Neil Finn. Next up, the Dead Sea. I love the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea... Uh, New Zealand's foremost kind of noise rock avant punk band. I've talked about them before. There's a Silk Breeze reissues. Well, they're from a few years ago now. Uh, and this is DR503. Yep, DR503, which was released on Flying Nun, I think in 1987. Here it's been re released. And then with these the Silk Breeze reissues, what they're doing is they're packaging them with. EPs and out of print singles as well. So you get a gatefold and the first disc, 33 RPM, is the DR503C album, which is from Flying Nuns era. You know, they, they kind of started off as doing kind of very, as I say, like avant punk, you know, noise rock, but still song based. Later on, they got into more free form improvisation. So you've got Eight songs on on that album and then the Sunstabbed EP and Sunstabbed came out as an EP I think as a seven inch and here it's extended with songs that weren't on the original release if you can pick up any of these Dead Sea Silk Breeze reissues it's worth doing they're really nice they're packaged really nicely they sound fantastic and you know material which you pay a bomb for if you try to buy the originals uh, I saw an original copy of this on eBay recently for like you know 90 bucks or something uh, so it's well worth picking these up the new telepathics this is the first new telepathics album it came out in 2004 it was released on vinyl uh, maybe around 2009 and self-titled out on our records their first release which is the new telepathics label this is how do you describe it it's got a bit of that kind of a, a female soul vocal it's uh, well crafted not really r&b but kind of a kind of dance uh, but also afro beat and yeah some kind of grooves that's what it's got it's got nice grooves and with a kind of a female uh, soul vocal over the top of it apart from the standout track for me on this is the one called remember fella which is a, a nice a kind of real long afro beat you know in the style of fella cootie who it's who it's kind of in the uh, in the memory of the new telepathics Delaney Davidson. Now I showed a record of his in my last recent Vinyl Finds video and that was his new album Bad Luck Man which I, I really highly recommend. This is his album from 2010. It's called Self Decapitation and it's as good as if not better than Bad Luck Man. This guy really is a talent and he was unknown to me. 
He got dedicated. He got not sorry nominated for a song on this album called uh, Little Heart. Yep, where is it? Yeah, Little Heart. It was nominated for a Silver Scroll, which is New Zealand Songwriting Awards this year. I hadn't heard of him until I heard that song because I was going to that nomination ceremony, the award ceremony, and I loved the song and tracked tracked down his material. These two albums, both out on vinyl, on Voodoo Rhythm, which is based in Switzerland, where Delaney Davidson spends a lot of his time. And this guy really is worth checking out. It's uh, kind of that, how do you describe it, kind of rootsy, Southern American, um, yeah, kind of harking back to that kind of, you know, Americana old time stuff. He does a cover on here of, of, of uh, In the Pines, and he does another cover in here as well of, now, who is it? It's the... For the for life of me, I can't remember. But he talks about hearing these old time records and the I suppose the lewdness of them and the the suggestiveness of the lyrics and the fact that people just weren't picking up on that and that really attracted him as a kid and so he's gone on to do that. Delaney Davidson, I really highly recommend this album. I had a trip to Wellington and there's a new record shop there called RPM. I picked up a couple of things there. Meet a man. And Meter Man are a kind of um, uh, what are they? They're kind of a post-rock noise guitar band from a few years back. This is a split album they did with Meter Man and Defender, who are from Chicago. This came out a few years back now, maybe 2002, something around there. It might say on here somewhere. And what you've got from here on Meter Man. Uh, four tracks, a couple of remixes, uh, City Hum, Midi Hum, and City Hum Reprise and Ultimate. So it's a you know it's a remix, 12 inch remix EP, split with Chicago's Defender. Nice to pick that up. In the same shop, I got this. Nothing fancy about the sleeve, but Ricketts meets Fabulous at Maitland Road. Now Ricketts is uh, he's. Will Ricketts, he's in the Phoenix Foundation, a great, great New Zealand band. This is different though, this is more downbeat, he's from Wellington, so it's in that Wellington downbeat tradition, uh, along the lines of, you know, Fat Freddy's Drop, that kind of thing, and uh, Mike Fabulous, so they they play together, but they write the songs on each side, so I think there's four from Will Ricketts and three from Mike Fabulous on the other side, and uh, split 12 inch but with a similar sound across all of it, and this is this is nice, nice chilled out, downbeat, dubby Wellington, uh, Wellington music. Okay, I said I got a few uh, because it has been a while. This is oh, this was great to get. The Skeptics Amalgam. So, the Skeptics. Okay, well I'll describe the record. So this is the the Skeptics last record. It came out. Posthumously, after the death of David Diath, who's the vocalist who died of leukemia in 1990. And uh, so this came out afterwards, I think the third album, maybe fourth, anyway, on Fly Nun Records. Uh, it's, it's industrial meets Joy Division meets a bit of Bauhaus. Um, Test Department, I'm sure you all know Test Department, you can kind of pick up on here a bit of that in here, just absolutely brilliant, anything by the Skeptics is great, but this really is a superb album, um, the song on here, Heathery Men, which has a kind of a, a Scottish sound to it, you know, together with the Heather I suppose, just, just knocks me out every time, Sheen of Gold on this album as well, uh, is that on here? Yeah, Sheen of Gold, but just... What a superb album! These are these guys were were noisy and industrial, using using sounds and just yeah, the, but the a post punk thing going on as well, just brilliant. Okay, quite different to that here. That's Fly My Pretties. This is a sampler, really. Fly My Pretties live at Bats. It's a sampler, four track sampler of the CD that came out, Fly My Pretties is a kind of a collaborative 
project. It's been going on for quite a few years now. This was the first project and it brings together a whole lot of people, Wellington musicians, doing a kind of indie folk um, stage show, bringing out the best of Wellington's talent and this samples four tracks from that album and I've been looking for this for a while but I went to Dunedin, went into a shop called Two Tone uh, and T double O Tone and what a collection that shop has got. It's probably the best collection of rare New Zealand records I've seen in one place. Uh, some of them a little pricey but you know these are rare records so you know you, you can ask big dollars for them and I could, certainly couldn't buy anything I wanted to because of that but I did pick up some things I was looking for including this Fly My Pretties Live at Bats. Alright this was a great find, the Alpaca Brothers Legless. This is an EP on Fly Nun from 1986 and um, to my mind nearly flawless. This this is kind of almost like a, a Dunedin super group from the early 80s if it was possible to have such a thing. Bruce Blucher who went on to bands like uh, Trash and what else was he in? Oh Cyclops, yeah one of the great Dunedin bands. How else have we got on here? Peter Gutteridge from Snapper. Uh, Norma O'Malley from, from Look Blue Go Purple. Just five track EP. The bass playing on this is phenomenal. It's, it just absolutely stands out to you. You just you listen to these songs, you go, why are these songs so strong? And then you listen to the bass and you go, oh man, that's incredible. It's, it's, not, it's not slack bass, but it's more kind of like, I suppose, slack string really powerful element to the songs um, and this copy of it is absolutely beautiful mint condition well you know nearly uh, it's got the original postcard inserts which came with the EP these are kind of reproductions of, um, of band posters gig posters and so on also came with a promotional poster for the EP so to find all of this stuff you know, 25 years after the fact, in this kind of condition, it's really, really good. And it's just fantastic. It's really one of the, the lost treasures from, you know, a lot of Flying Nun stuff is well regarded, but there's certain things which rise to the top, and bands like The Chills, like The Bats, Straight Jacket Fits, are the ones that people know. And, but it's some of this stuff, like the Alpaca Brothers, which is just as good, you know, and a, a really, really great record. If you ever get the chance to hear it, I recommend it. A couple of newer things here, so brand new really. These arrived this week, Princess Chelsea. So this is, uh, how do you describe this? It's kind of, it's keyboard, keyboard based, um, Twee, poppy, introspective, kind of the, the kind of lyrics that only someone in their twenties can write. With that, uh, I suppose that uh, because the only, only someone in their twenties can put the weight on on the subject matter of just everyday relationships and and issues about you know like whether or not to smoke cigarettes, you know, uh, and. And all important. And what a, look at this great package. So it's all done up like it's called Little Golden Book. Done up like a golden book. On the back here, we've got characters from the songs and uh, involved in the recording of the band. All kind of written and uh, drawn in the style that you might expect to find in a, in a golden book. And also out on golden vinyl. It's been out for quite a while on CD, it's taken a while to be pressed. Um, Princess Chelsea, she was just over in New York at the CMJ Music Festival and Music uh, Showcase, Expo, whatever you want to call it, and uh, while she's over there you know, hooking up with American, American labels and so on, and this is out on vinyl now, which is really good. Uh, this, also, another band who were at CMJ, uh, The Golden Awesome, they're from Wellington, and their shoegaze, you know, there's, there's, they're not really doing anything new with it, they're just shoegaze, and, and there's nothing wrong with that, just that kind of 
bliss that comes from layer upon layer of, of droney guitar. I, I just love it. Um, so this is a Again, another coloured vinyl. This is on Milady's Records, who are from Brooklyn. Purple vinyl, yellow sleeve. There's an insert in here as well. Just a yellow insert with the track listing. And I was listening to this this afternoon. Just really nice. And final for this video, and this is what we're listening to now. This is Coretta San Silo. This is Coretta's second album, and they're, you know, post-rock instrumental. And this album's been really growing on me. At first listen, I wasn't so sure about it, because it's it's quite clinical, it's it's quite clean, and I suppose I like that element in, in post-rock of that teetering on the edge, and that feeling that it might go out of control, and I don't get that feeling with Coretta, you know, they, they seem like they're completely on it, they, they're not going out of control at all, but I like that edge, uh, but the more I listen to this, the more I like it, and the, the, a fantastic package, beautiful, beautiful cover, look at that edge on that, it's got this big spine, like a hard covered book, and this is... Uh, trees in there, that's like a, a full double thickness, it's almost impossible to get the thing in and out because there's no flexibility in there and impossible to find a bag to fit it in but this just arrived this week as well and uh, after a long delay, really nice from Coretta, that San Silo. So there's a there's a run through some of, some of the things I've just picked up, I'm really pleased with that bunch of records. And there's some good stuff coming up as well. I showed you a few Fly Nun records in there. Things like the Alpaca Brothers and uh, the Skeptics. And, you know, I've been picking up a few of those older Fly Nun releases. But this is a pretty exciting month because it's the 30th anniversary of Fly Nun Records. They've got a bunch of new releases and reissues coming out. And I've got a few of those on order. And I hope in my next video I'll be able to show some of those to you as well. So... Thanks for watching and thanks for your comments.